Hey guys, I'm Miles Vane, and welcome back to another episode of Zero Escape, Virtue's Last Reward, or Virtue's Last Reward, or VLR. Anyways, last episode, we basically talked to a bunch of folks, uh, get to know what everyone has found. Absolutely nothing, of course, is what they found. And we are going to continue talking with Clover and Alice about their time in the past known era game. Well, specifically Clover, because she's been through this game for three times now at this point, and she's telling us about the history as well as the truth of what she's known about for the Nonori game. Uh, Sigma's blaming Clover for this or getting involvement with Zero again, but even Clover doesn't know who's behind this because for some reason it's like a newly created group of people who are just trying to do something to, to start up something that she's already been through. So yeah, so let's hear what Clover has to say or in the conversation with us. Uh, okay, well, that makes no sense. So let me see if I have this straight. The Nurnery game has been has already been done twice by different people and for different reasons. Different reasons. <laughs> then why is whoever's doing this calling it the Nurnery game? Is it just a coincidence that they're trying to call themselves Zero? That's not good enough. You've got to think. Clover, you're the key to figuring all this out. But you've got to think. Yeah, I don't know why you're trying to force her to think. It's like... If something didn't happen to a person... And you're asking them to to try to remember so hard that they did the thing that they didn't do at all. It just makes no sense at all, I guess, just to make them do that. It's like, it doesn't change anything anyways. Like, it's very useless. I don't know why Sigma would think that way. <gasps> what? Nani? Gas mask. The gas mask. Oh, yeah, I saw it too. But, what about it? Uh, she says it's the same mask that she saw from the from the previous Nonora games. Oh, Oh, they were going to reveal where they were at when they were attacked, almost. It looks like she's going to get cut off by Alice. Um, but no, yeah, I guess it makes sense. If the, two people who, if the two people who are on the run is actually Akane and Santa, then that leaves behind the person who was behind the gas mask, basically. So the person behind the gas mask is somebody or an entity rather that's something else or somebody else but for some reason isn't being like revealed yet so i'm guessing that that might be the reasoning for it it makes me curious about who this zero escape character is like who is this uh, zero character is because it's been obvious that he's been like around and he just hasn't shown much about who he is yet and we're now exploring this guy in actuality of why he exists. Or it becomes, or it just remains a mystery until the next game. Because there is a third game called Zero Time Dilemma. Which is a tie-up of the trilogy, I guess. The Zero Time, the Zero Escape trilogy. And it's kind of weird to me that it's like, this character is like so anonymous. It's like, when will we get the reveal, you know? <laughs> It feels like it's it's not necessary to make three games be behind this guy. It's kind of like the horror movies thing, <laughs> where it's just like the mystery, the deaths, the thriller. That's the first movie. And then the second movie is like, oh yeah, we're kind of using the person again because he's a very special enemy villain thing. Like it's saying like Freddy Krueger or uh, Jason Voorhees or something like that. Like just some horror enemy type. And then they explore their, ha their history, their past... Uh, in like finally for once in the third game or something i i mean i don't know giving us a hint or at least a taste of what the next game might be in related to this gas mask guy maybe zero 
Uh, I don't know. I, it's just ridiculous. Whoa. Then it's got to be the same person. Very true. Maybe somebody in this group actually needs our help. Because I think Zero Escape 999 was a point of helping somebody get out of the problem from their past. But who in this group needs to fix their problem from the past? That's the question. Is it Tenryoji who needs help? Is it K, the person behind K, needs help? Uh, because I feel like everybody's connected here. But the problem is we haven't bumped into everybody's backstory enough, I think, to really see how everyone's connected. I know Clover and Al is connected. Th those two are obviously connected to the Nonora games because they've been through it before, or they had some ties and connections to that. But the question is, why is everyone else here? Why is Luna here? Why is Fee, Fi, Fi, I say Fi, I think. Fi, what, why is Fi here? Why is Luna here? Why is K here? Why is... Quark and Tenmyoji. Tenmyoji and Quark are related, so why are they here? Are they, like, related to some kind of medical thing here? I don't even know. Yeah. But I don't think it's gonna be something to do with, with the stuff a year ago. I think this is a new problem to a new thing. So yeah, yeah, well, I mean, I know I didn't, I didn't have anything to do with it. Are you sure you've never met any of the other people here? Yeah, because everybody here... Yeah, she's just saying she hasn't met anybody in this group before. And, I mean, it's true. I feel like maybe we're saving someone, I think. Or that maybe they're all related to Alice's origins, maybe. And that's probably what it is. And we're trying to figure out how... Like, maybe Tenmyoji... Uh, maybe Tenmyoji... Was the same guy who stole Alice when she was in her ice version, maybe. And then... Luna somehow was the doctor behind, or, or Luna's parents were something like that, was behind the checkup of the Alice's, like, blood type or something like that. Or one of the experiments behind Alice's, like, like Ice-9 situation. And then maybe Deal was one of the people who were, like, uh, who was handling the cargo, I guess, maybe, the cargo of that, and he was, like, in the circus while he was doing it, I guess. I don't know. It could be anything. Like, everybody can have a random-ass reason to being here, and I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if they just slotted some random people in because of their backgrounds, similar to uh, how something happens or something. But I, I think Alice is to the forefront of this problem because I think Alice is the one that's related to the previous game but hasn't been fully explored to her history of how she became an ice uh unfrozen in like becoming less like not frozen at all ただ、ただ、I wouldn't be surprised if K is 7, but then it doesn't sound like 7 though, from 999. He just has the f familiar similar structure as 7 from Zero Escape 999 because of his uh, sh his stature. I don't think uh, Snake is that big, but I think Snake could grow muscles in a year's worth of time for sure. But I don't, like, I think S Snake has similar heights to K, but I don't think that's true. And Seven is also similar in height and bulk as K, but I don't think his voice matches Seven from 9 and 9 either. So I'm wondering if this particular individual is the one who's kind of like Santa, who's setting up their own sort of, like, nonary game on themselves, because they know that they need to be properly executing everything in their accordance or something. I don't know. Hmm. 
then before one of us could break the silence. Somebody's coming in. They found a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Ten Miyoji's the one running this time versus K, who's just rushing into the lounge. The last, the first playthrough we had, Ten Miyoji ran, rushed into the lounge. Well, now, or the first playthrough, K rushed into the lounge. Here is Ten Miyoji rushing into cruise quarter. <laughs> Ten Miyoji, what's wrong? Luna, hmm? Luna, where Oh, is it because Quirk started uh, going insane? Luna, not the. Koko ni wa inai kedo? Yeah, she's in the lounge. Last time we saw it. Do shita no? Quirk ga. Knew it. It is Quirk. He's probably gone insane, and he's about to like grab a scalpel to stab people with it. Quirk ga taien nan ja. Hey, calm down. What happened to Quirk? Totsuzen taorete shimotan ja. Oh. Luna's over in the lounge. Where's Quirk? Got it. Wakata. I'll go get Luna. You head back to the infirmary. Clover, Alice, you're with me. We bolted out of the cruise quarter to he and headed towards the lounge and Luna. Alrighty. Now things have changed, sort of. Oh, and she's now scanning him again. The whole process took only a few minutes. The machine scans Quark's body, and within seconds, his results lit up on the screen. Words too complicated for me to understand scrolled across it, and as she read, reads through them, Luna's face grew dark. She bit her lip and just stood there for a moment, looking down at Quark, before she spoke. I is infected with the virus. The, uh, what's my call it? The Radical Six. This is the, this is the exact same situation of the last, the first playthrough. What? I felt my stomach lurch. Don't tell me. Yep. Have you heard of this virus? I mean, we did show the newspaper, so I don't know how you would not have heard of it, Sigma. Radical 6, I mean. My brain hurts, because we literally just showed the newspaper to... To, to K and Dio and Luna. And and Temi already knows about it because we already read the scrap of paper to him and Phi. And our character knows. Why the hell are we going through this conversation so differently? What the hell? So, so Masaka. Masaka ga ano virus ni shite shimatta to wa. I'm very confused because this story is becoming weird, or this path became very weird, because it's like... Now we're forced into this weird flow state, I guess. Yeah, if it freezes on this to say that, hey, like, you... Like, because we already got this problem, which is locked. Because we don't have the information we need to figure out what the, the thing we need to cure Quark in that path. But doing this again on this particular part is kind of weird, though, to me. It's kind of weird to me a little bit. Huh. <laughs> Um, there was one in the laboratory at the next chromatic door, but that's only if we can get there in time. No, hell no. We looked at it the last time. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't think Cruz Quarters has any medicine whatsoever, so it's kind of weird. And not else will make sense, because it's a lounge, so literally for a bar. Tenmyoji's voice broke as he spoke. With a tortured sigh, he collapsed to his knees. Oh. Oh no, he's gonna grab the scalpel and stab himself again, isn't it? Or try to stab himself. Which is not great. No, Tenmyoji, he's not himself right now. I'm wondering if this is if if Cork will successfully get himself eliminated compared to the last time when we went through it because Cork was prevented because of Sigma. Freeing my soul. Quark's hand moved like lightning. He grabbed hold of the scalpel and was driving it straight towards his heart. Stop! Yamate! Interesting. He got up standing and then we just pushed him down to the bed again. I forget about that. <laughs> it's kind of a weird like way of getting him back on the bed. Yeah, pretty tough work, kid. Hey, guys, I could use a hand here. Oh, oh. Tenmyoji not helping. Tenmyoji, what the hell are you doing? Get over here. Tenmyoji, can you even hear me? Oh, oh. oh I'm wondering if Alice is going to grab the scalpel again and start running away because that would be so weird to see her do it again. Unless it's a different person who grabs the scalpel this time and runs away, I would be very surprised. Sheesh, this kid's lost it. Hey, oi, somebody get that scalpel away from him. Oh, Clover gets it. Interesting. Come about the Clover. Good job, Clover. Cork barely even seems to notice the loss of the scalpel. He continues to scream and writhe like he was possessed. What are we going to do? We've got to calm him down somehow. Dinner! <laughs> yeah, it just makes him go to sleep for a long, long time. I mean, it's just gonna make him go to sleep for a long time. That's basically what it does. Man, that sounded like a gun. It sounded like a gun, but I know she's just, like, preparing it in the injection thing.
呼吸数血圧脈拍脳波いずれも正常現在クオーク君は深い睡眠状態にありますうん、right. I guess we're good for now. ええ麻酔が効いてる時間は How's Alice? Because I feel like the last time this happened, Alice went crazy. For no reason at all. But at the same time, Clover is the one who took the scalpel this time, versus Alice, who grabbed it and just went crazy. How long are you going to be able to do it? I think it's a few hours. Yeah, he's not going to wake up for a long while. So, I think it's a lot of fun. I think it's a lot of fun. I think it's a lot of fun. 脳内の理性を司る部分が麻痺してしまったため抑制が効かなくなってあんな怪力をなんでわかるんだよえそれはそのもしかしてお前ラジカルシックスのこと詳しく知ってるんじゃないのかいや、yeah, Luna just said that she didn't know much really そそんなわけないじゃないですかシグマさんに見せてもらった新聞記事あそこに書かれていたこと以外は何も知らないですよ本当だろうな嘘なんかついてどうするんですかさっきのは他のウイルスの場合でも同じような症例が報告されているのでそう言っただけですねえだったらさクオークが自殺しようとしたのもラジカルシックスのせいなのええおそらくそうだと思います。So what kind of virus is Radical Six? I pulled the newspaper article out of my pocket and looked at it again. Everyone else crowded in. やはりこの最後の一行が気になるな。Yeah, not only that, Alice hasn't spoken yet, so I'm worried that Alice is gonna become insane again.、Uh... Please don't rewind this story back to that, please. WHO は各国の政府に対し、感染者の隔離を早急に行うよう対応を求めている。つまり、ここは、感染者の隔離施設だっていうのだからそれはありえないって。どうして Dio ran through what he told the rest of us in the lounge. See, they could have d i d this in some other cases where they, when they had to reread some stuff. Ja, Shinbun no Kiji wa Tsukuri mono te koto? Shikashi, Wilus no Sonzai wa Jishou sale m a s t a yo. A so koni o i t i a r Adam. Jido Shindan Kai Seki Sochi ni yote. Yeah, because Dio thought it was all forged. I think the article is fake itself, but it's only to circle around the idea of the existence of Radical Six. But the only difference is that, like. The only difference is that I think the article is fake because it's just saying things, not so much as proving things about if everyone else has it outside of this facility. So, I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I don't, I don't actually agree with Dio this time because I think Dio is becoming less logical. It's like, let's believe it for now, and, and until otherwise things change, then definitely, you know, something. But this machine actually has proven, you know, being able to detect the, the body stuff for、um, the body stuff for the, for the old lady who, who we put on top of the bed. And、uh, examined her. Actually, what happened to her body? We never even got to see. Like, they literally mentioned the old lady and never mentioned her ever again, besides the fact that when we revisited this room to check up on Ten Miyoji, like, he mentioned about the body in the back. But, like, for some reason, like, never again have we heard about the old lady ever since then. Arakajime, <laughs> お前らウイルスが蔓延してるなんてニュース聞いたことがあるのかうんうんそれはないけどでもウイルスがばらまかれるという情報なら耳にしたことがあるわ Thank goodness Alice is not insane Thank you え
何ですって Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alice, what the hell? Explain. Yeah, we gotta get to the next chromatic door. Time. Five minutes. Crap. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. As if you tell us, even if we, if there was time, right? Yeah, so the big point for me, I think, personally, is that we need to get to the laboratory. Because I think that was the last time that、uh, Quark picked up the cure. And so we need to figure out if we can go to the laboratory and pick up any medicine or、uh, chemical information that we can. And that would hopefully unblock the next or the first playthrough that we went through. Because I do want to at least have some key to the lock that we might find out later. But we don't know yet because there seems to be multiple locks. Like, let me show you. Apparently, this one is lock number four, is what it says. I just saw. Lock number four, yeah. So, like, there's four locks. So that means there might be potentially a fifth lock. But there's most likely a lock number one, two, and three. So there's three different locks because of something I haven't done yet. Which is interesting that they have three, like four different locks for multiple keys that, they need, you, that the player needs to find through different branches of the story, which is kind of weird. Nice, but weird. Yeah.、Uh, maybe two people stay behind because one of the doors cannot be explored without. Yeah, because we need to explore the doors, but Quirk is like, what, a solo? So, yeah. Oof. I guess. Yeah, we need somebody to take care of them, to stay behind, or else. Exactly the point. Oh, give me a second. Uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Alrighty, sorry about that. I had a call and I needed to pick up that call immediately. Anyways, yeah, like a team would be left behind basically if we didn't have them uh, have them fill that spot up. So, yeah, I guess that's that's the point. So, not that, Kuok mo fumete sono san nin wa penalty, dana. So, ja. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I didn't know that you have to go to the CDs. You have to go to the doors or else you get punished. Wakari Masta. So there are Watashiga Kuokun, Hakobi Masho. Yeah, that's fair. Temioji Sanga Kakaite Kuriba. Some of Hoga Hayai de Shokara. Very true. Yamoe Huntoni Daijo Nanjarona Makasetemo. As you stick aside. Yep, let's go. Yep. Move, 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 move. At Fry's command, we all began to run. The doors opened, the door opened, and we split out into the warehouse. I'm sorry, I'm not speaking much because I'm just like, I'm waiting for the transition to get to this point because I'm like, I don't have anything to add really <laughs> at this point. Okay, now it's open. Alrighty. Well, it seems like we can finally make a valid choice now, so we can actually choose which door we want to go to. At least two choices versus one. But I want to go through the door that actually、uh, 
has the laboratory, but I don't remember which door has the laboratory. Uh, what are our options? Yeah, because Fai was, la、uh, was the one who explained it to us last time. I think she didn't. I don't think she said those lines about like we need to make our options. She said that we need to think it over. <laughs> Because Kanga Edu is like, means thinking it over and consider our options. Or something like that. Like the action of it is consider something or think about something. The, the options Fi laid out for us were the following Option A Clover and I pair up with Tenmyoji to go through the door, a blue door. Loon and Fi pair up with Dio. Yellow go to、uh, go to the green door. K and Alice and with Quirk to go through the red door. Option B Clover and I with Dio go through the red door. Luna and Fi go with Quirk to go through the blue door. Alice and K pair up with Tenmyoji going through the green door. Option C Clover and I and Quirk to the Green door. Luan and Fi going with Ten Yoji to the red door. K and Alice pair up with Dio to go through the blue door. Oof. Okay, now the choices begin. Because it did that weird transition where we had to select which door. So, how do we want to pair up? <laughs> I love how Alice switched this now because the last time that happened, we were asking. We were the characters who asked, hey, would the people with the lowest points should be the one who gets the vote first and get that, that higher vote status because <laughs> we have a whole big disadvantage. But Alice was like, no, screw that to us like <laughs> during that thing. I was like, what the hell, dude? What do you mean? BP is one of the people. Alice, Fai, Luna, Sigma. These are the four people. That's it. Then, let's go. Alice is the one to play with. I think I'm the one to play with Dio. Oof. Dio is the one to play with Dio. I'm the one to play with Dio. So that leaves us with only two choices, I think. Oh, 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 I'm the one to play with Dio. I mean, if Alice had a chance with a scalpel, she would stab you first, buddy. I'm glad, I, I, I'm glad we couldn't piss Alice off because she pissed us off first. <laughs> so I'm, I'm glad the pl first playthrough kind of gave us an opposite version of what Alice would be if she was the one who got betrayed instead. Yeah, I don't believe Dio either. Yeah, I don't think a kid has that much of a hatred towards others because kids are very naive, you know? And why would the kid think about hating others or taking advantage of others? Yeah, he's not gonna bother them either. Yep. I glanced over at Quark. He looked tiny, curled up in, cradled up in Kay's arms, fast asleep. If I didn't know better, I'd think he was just a kid who just tired himself out from playing too hard. <laughs> no one, don't care. Oof. So I'm guessing that is one of those versions of choices that they don't get to be together. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. ルナはどうなんじゃ私は私は誰でも構いません。Yeah, because she's, she's pretty much like open ended, I feel like. さっきは四つ葉さんと K さんに裏切られましたが。They're both pairs now, though. They're, they're both pairs now, though. 
And since you're a pair too, there's no way you're ending up. You'd end up going through the same door as them. Eh. <laughs> um. I. Let's see. Clover and I were a pair. That meant that I had to choose one of the three solos. Oh, I get to choose, though. Okay, let me do the flow. I don't want to go to the same door. So blue was the one I chose last time. Uh, I don't want to go to the blue door. And I don't think I can go through green because that's... Oh, I accidentally... I hate that so much. Why couldn't I just not click that? But whatever. I'll go through the green door. I don't remember what green was. I want to take cork and go through green door. So option C, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so that was the option C. I was right. Okay, I wanted to make sure that was option C. <laughs> so, do we get to choose again, I hope? That was that then. I might have to be. I have, might have been able to argue down one person, but two. Besides, there was no way I'd be able to overpower K, grab Quark, and force Clover through the green door. Fine, Wakata. If you guys are that determined, I'll pick another door. I had two choices the blue door or the red door. I. Let's leave that for the next episode. Unfortunately, I am out of time, and I don't want to keep going further, but. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode where enough of your minds. Hope you guys have a great, amazing day, week, and night, or whenever watching this. Other than that, that's it for this episode, and I will see you guys next time. Roz!